welcome you all back to my youtube channel and in this video i will teach you organic chemistry and under organic chemistry to be specific i want to teach you on alcohols carboxylic acids and esters these three are very important and you need to make sure that even as you are going into your examination room you know and understand these three things that I want to share with you. So these are alcohols, carboxylic acids, and esters. So I'll start with alcohols. So I'm going to start with alcohols. So we'll start with alcohols. So what do you understand about alcohols? Are you able to write all the alcohols? Or do you know the general formula that we get to use under alcohols? These questions should be in your mind. So when we are talking about alcohols, the general formula for alcohols is this is the general formula for what? For alcohols. This is the general formula that we get to use on alcohols like this. So this is the general formula under alcohols. And alcohols have got a functional group. So these have got a functional group. You are able to tell functional group that have got a functional group a functional group of what as you can see o h an hydroxide which means that all alcohols end with o h this is what you need to know so when we are told to list the alcohols i believe you know how members are being followed so whenever i say meth have you seen which means that what I'm talking about or what, uh, what I'm meaning is that I'm talking about the, what? the first member. I'm talking about the first member which has got the one carbon, it has got one carbon. When I say eighth, like this, when I say eighth, which means I mean two carbons. When I say prop, which means I'm talking about three carbons. When I say but, it is but, then I mean four carbons. When I talk about paint, let's talk about paint. I mean five number of what? Five number of carbons. This is what you need to know and understand. So these are things that we need to know and understand. Let's make sure that we know all these. And what you need to know under this, all alcohols, end with this word they end with this word have you seen they end with this word a n o l o alcohols get to end with this word a no so which means that when i bring down this one here this is what meth so let me say this is what this is meth i put this one it becomes methanol so this is what this is methanol so since this is methanol, it is having what? It is having, these are number of carbons. So the carbon is one. Have you seen? So this one means N there. N number of carbon. So this is N. All these are standing in for what? N. So if N is one, then it is called meth. So since I'm under alcohols, I'm going to call it methanol. So methanol N is one. So N there are one. So what am I going to say? I'm going to say N, 1, I don't show. I say H. Then where N there is 1? So 2 times 1, it is 2. Plus 1, 3. So 3, then I put O, H like this. So this is the chemical formula for methanol. This is how we get to write methanol. So this is how you need to understand this. This is how you need to get this one. What if you are told to write this, the second one here, which is called eighth? Have you seen it is eighth? Since you are under alcohols, you are going to call that one as ethanol. We are going to call it what? Ethanol. So I'm going to call it ethanol like this. Ethanol. Ethanol having what? Two. So it means any there it is what? Two. So I'm going to say C2 then H. 2 times 2, any there it is 2. So I'm saying 2 times 2, 4, plus 1, 5. So I put a 5 here, 
then I maintain O H. This is what I'll be doing. So this is how we write these uh, compounds. So even if I want to write this one, the third member, which is pro, pro, so under alcohols it will be called propano. So it will be called what? Propano. So it is going to be called propano. Have you seen propano? This is how it is going to be called. We are going to call it propano. So propano three. So it means where there is N there, I put what? I put three. So I say C three like that. Then I say H. Two times three, six plus one, seven. So seven. Then O H gets to what? Gets to four. So this is what you need to know. This is what you need to understand. So we need to make sure that we understand all these. We know all these. So these are chemical formulas. These are just chemical formulas. What if you want to write the structural formula? So I'll start with this first one that I started with. So what if you want to write the structural formula for methanol? So we want to write the structural formula for methanol. So this is what methanol that we did. It was methanol. So methanol is like this. Chemical formula is what? C H 3 O H. So how can you write the structural formula for this one? This is one carbon surrounded by three hydrogens. So one carbon surrounded by three hydrogen. Hydrogen side hydrogen here another hydrogen here then i put o h this is the what this is the structural formula of methanol i move to the other one so the second one that we did was what ethanol so i go to ethanol so i move to ethanol the struct uh, the chemical formula for ethanol is what c 2 h 5 O H. This means that I'm having two carbons surrounded by five hydrogens. So two carbons, I'm going to do this. These two carbons surrounded by five hydrogens. So I'm going to do this. I put here that one there. I put that one there. Even down here, I do this. The same thing. Even here, I do the same thing. Have you seen? If you count them in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I've interpreted that one. Then I just put O, H like this. I'll just put O, H. So you can continue doing this until you reach even uh, the number of uh, uh, compounds that you want to reach. There is X, Sano. So you can put that one. So you can go. Let us now look at i will go on the third one which is propano have you seen propano like this so propano this is pro propano so they end with what a n o l this is propano so propano like this i told you at first how to write this seven o h like this so this means that how many Carbons, three carbons. So I'm going to say three carbons like this. Three. Surrounded by how many atoms of hydrogen? Seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you put what? You put O, H. This is what you need to do. So this is how you get to write these chemical formulas and structural formulas. So we can go further. We can just be going just like that. We can just be going. We can just be going. We can write butano if you want. So butano, this is your work. You are going to write this one. Butano is like this. So butano is on the fourth position. So it means carbon how many? Carbon 4. Then I say H. Then we were saying what? 4 times 2 plus 1. So 4 times 2 it's 8. Plus 1, 9 like this. Then I say O, H. So all alcohols end with O, H. This is what you need to know. As long as you are talking about an alcohol, it must end with 
OH. So if you can see, this is ending with OH. That is that one is ending with OH. Everything is ending with what OH. So this is what we need to know. This is what we need to get and understand. So these are terms that you need to know and understand. Hope you are able to write this one. So how can you write this one? This is your work. You are going to do it. Make sure you are that you practice through this. You just write the same way I was writing this. So make sure that you write that one. Butano. So what I want you to understand mostly on this. What I want you to get and understand whenever we are talking about alcohols. We've got uh, methanol. Methanol is uh, very important. I'll go back to methanol. Where is methanol? The, we've got methanol is here. Have you seen methanol? This is the first member. This is the first member of methanol. We've got uh, ethanol. So under ethanol, ethanol is a youthful fuel. It is a solvent and uh, it is a what? Disinfectant. This is what you need to know and understand. So alcohols can be made from alkenes by their reaction with steam and by the hydrolysis of esters. This is what you need to know and understand. So these alcohols can be made by the reaction of uh, uh, when steam reacts with an alkene we can form an alcohol. So let me give you an example on this, how alcohols can also be formed. So this is the what we were doing. This is just the general formula that you need to know. This is just its specific general formula that we get to use. But when an alkene reacts with steam, an alcohol is produced. So let me give you an example to see how these are made. Move to this one. Alkenes with steam to make alcohols. So whenever an alkene reacts with steam, an alcohol is produced. So give me one example of uh, alkenes. So one example of alkenes we've got, let's say we've got ethene. This is an example of ethene. So when ethene reacts with steam, we know that steam this is water in gaseous state. So when it reacts with steam, so whenever it reacts with steam, what is produced here, it is an alcohol. So how do we know the kind of an alcohol that is produced? You check, this is what? This is ethene. So among us, the alcohols, we start with eth, eth, it is what? Ethanol. So what is going to be produced to be called an ethanol there? An ethanol, is going to be produced so now how do we write ethene you know that whenever we are talking about alkenes alkenes have got their specific general formula so their specific general formula is like this c n then here we've got two n like this h two n this is their specific general formula the same ones which i told you one we've got what one we've got meth. Two, we've got eth. This same one will also apply here. But this one doesn't exist amongst the alkenes. Why? Because we know that alkenes, these are unsaturated hydrocarbons. They have got a double bond. So since they have got a double bond, how can we have a double bond between carbon to carbon when we are just having one carbon? So this one doesn't exist. So we start on this one, which we are taking as an example. So the way ethene is, have you seen? So ethene, we know that 2, position 2, so N is 2. So C2, H, H is what? 2 times 2, 4. So it is 4. So this is what? Ethene. So this is ethene here. So I'm going to say ethene is C2, H, 4. That is ethene. Ethene is reacting with the steam. Steam is water in gaseous state like this. Then what is produced there? What is produced there is called uh, an alcohol. Specifically, we are talking about what? Ethanol. So what will happen is this. 
one atom of uh, oxygen will drop here will go this side so i'm going to have c2 h so when one drops here goes this other side so this one we are having a four so when one hydrogen comes here we're going to have what we're going to have five then what are we going to remain with since it gave out one so we are just having one what one hydrogen and one oxygen so one hydrogen and one oxygen forms an hydroxide so it is the oh that goes that side so this is what gets to happen this is what you need to know this is what you need to understand so this is what gets to happen whenever we are talking about these things so you can give me any let's say let us talk about butene let us get butene so i get butene butene this is an alkene i react it with steam so when i react it with steam what is going to be formed this side so what will be formed this side it is called what butano since i'm using butene so butano is going to be formed this side i'm going to have what butano been formed this other side so since it is butano that is being formed how do we write butene so butene you know that it is on position four so getting this formula here c it is four so c four then what about the h so i say h then i say two times four it is eight i'm going to have what i'm going to have eight there then i say plus plus team which is like this now what is butano there how can i write the butano that is produced there so the butano that is produced there the same thing this one will drop one it will give to the that one so i'm going to have c4 will maintain but the h here it is going to gain one atom so it's gonna be nine then this one it it has given out one so it is just one atom of hydrogen plus the o which is here so this is now an hydroxide o h like this so this is what this is butano this is how we get to form this so make sure you understand this the way i'm doing them this is how you need to get them this is how we need to understand them so this is all you need to know on alcohols this is how we get to form alcohols so whenever we are talking about like uh, alcohols such as uh, ethanol ethanol can be made from industries by the fermentation of sugar using yeast you can talk of that that's how it can be made so these are things that you need to know these are things that uh, you need to understand so let us go to carboxylic now we go to what carboxylic acids so let us now talk about carboxylic acids carboxylic acids let us talk about carboxylic acids what are carboxylic acids so you know that carboxylic acids are compound which are containing the functional group of what so this gets to contain a functional group of this this is a what a functional group of carboxylic acids we can also write this in this way like this then c then a double bond here o then o h like this i can write them like this so that is a double bond on top there maybe you're not able to see what i've written so i'm going to do o i write it here c a double bond there then i've got o h here this is what i've written there maybe you were not able to see but this is what i've written so this is a what a functional group this is what you need to know and understand so the hydrogen atom in this group can easily be ionized and these compounds are acids so these are what acids they are weak acids ph mainly around 3 the ph is mainly around 3 so and reacts with metals carbonates alkalis in the same way that other acids do so carboxylic acids can be prepared from alcohols by heating the alcohol with an oxidizing agent such as potassium permanganate or potassium dichromate so whenever we 
get to react to this one whenever we ionize uh, an alcohol. So when an alcohol reacts with uh, atmospheric oxygen in the presence of a potassium permanganate, so let me put down something here so that we are able to see. So I was saying that when an alcohol, when an alcohol, so when we get an alcohol, so when an alcohol reacts with what? Atmospheric oxygen. So when it reacts with oxygen, what is formed here? It is a carboxylic acid. A carboxylic acid is what is formed. A carboxylic acid is formed. This is what I'm talking about. So when these two reacts, when alcohol reacts with atmospheric oxygen, a carboxylic acid is what is formed. So in the presence of what? In the presence of what? What we need to know is that we need to have what? Potassium permanganate. So I'm going to say we need to have potassium permanganate. This is what we need to have. Potassium permanganate or potassium. So these two must be present. Or potassium dichromate these two must be present so each time we are talking about carboxylic acids these are things that we need to know these are things that we need to understand so let's make sure that we understand all these things that i'm telling you we understand all these things that i'm explaining here let's make sure that we get this we understand all this data that i'm bringing uh, bringing out so that we understand so i want to make this very simple to everyone so that each and every person can understand this so this is just a summary uh, on this topic so we are going to talk about properties of alcohols we are going to talk about all those things we are going to talk about all those things these are carboxylic acids. So under carboxylic acid, like I've told you, I've said that alcohol must react with oxygen to produce a carboxylic acid. So this reaction is called oxidation reaction. So it is called what? Oxidation reaction. It is called an oxidation reaction. And I've just remembered something. Under this, what we covered, uh, there is an important part that you don't need to forget. So this thing here, it is happening at a temperature of 300 degrees Celsius under pressure and what? Phosphatic acid. So this must be present. Phosphatic what? Phosphatic acid. So this is a condition. For an alkene to react with steam and change to alcohol, the conditions must, that must be present are these. We must have a temperature of what? A temperature of 300 degrees Celsius and the phosphatic acid. These must be there. These must be present. So now we are talking about the carboxylic acids. So carboxylic acid, this reaction is called an oxidation reaction. So whenever we oxidize an alcohol, we form a carboxylic acid. So let me talk about this. Let me say oxidation, oxidation of, I'll start with the methanol. We want to oxidize methanol. So oxidation of what? Methanol. So how can you oxidize methanol? So we want to oxidize methanol. How can we oxidize methanol? So methanol, we are going to get methanol. How is methanol? Methanol just like this. C H 3 O H. This is what? This is methanol. So methanol is reacting with the oxygen like this. To produce what? To produce a carboxylic acid. So since we are using methanol, so the carboxylic acid which will be produced will have like this. This is the name of the carboxylic acid. 
methanoic acid. This is the acid that is going to be produced. Which means that here you just remove the what? You just remove the I here. Just remove the what? The L. This is L. Just remove the L there. Then you put IC to form what? Methanoic acid. So this is what you need to know and understand. So just with this, you just move L there. Then you put IC. You form what? Methanoic acid. So this is the name. So what happens is that this is what gets to happen. So I want you to get this and I want you to understand. On the carbon, carbon drops how many? One. So one atom, carbon drops one. We drop one atom. I want you to understand this. Carbon drops one atom. Hydrogen will drop how many? Two atoms. I want to make this Simple so that you understand everything. You understand important things. So what will happen is this. Since this one drops one atom. So it is only one. So it drops. I'm just going to start with H there. Have you seen? Because it is just one there. Then this is hydrogen. Hydrogen is having three. Then I've said that hydrogen drops how many two. So when two are removed from a three, I've just remained with one. Have you seen? I've just remained with what? One. So then the carbon which I dropped, bring it here. The carbon was just one. So I bring it here like this. Then this one, oxygen here. How many oxygens are here? Two. Two atoms of oxygen. Bring one. You bring one, you put it there. Have you seen? Then you rewrite here. This thing we didn't temper with it, which is what O H. Like this. So this alcohol here, then you say, maybe if you want to see which other compound is being produced. So how many atoms of hydrogen did I remove? Two. So I put them hydrogen two. Then here I removed one. I remained with the one. I put it there. I form what water. So this is what I've formed. This is what you need to know and understand. So this compound here, this compound which is here, this compound, it is called what? It is called methanoic acid. This compound is called methanoic acid. How do you write now the structural formula for this acid? How do you write the structural formula for that? What you are going to do is this. You are going to say one atom of what? Hydrogen. So one atom of hydrogen, then carbon. Then you put the double bond. You put here O H like this. Have you seen? So this is what this is methanoic acid. You are done. So this is how you need to write those things. This is how we need to understand this. So let's make sure that you get an understanding on this. Let's make sure that you understand this. This is very simple. Oh, some people will prefer writing this as they will say this is H here. Then they will say this is what? Carbon. Then the OH will come here like this. Then the double bond will, there, will go there. The double bond will go there like that. This is just one and the same. So if you want, you can write it this way. Or if you want, you can write it this other way. It is just one and the same thing so this is how we, we, we we've talked about what oxidation of methanol this is what gets to happen so but if you are taught to write methanol you just do this on a separate paper but they are just interested in this this is what methanoic acid you get methanol you produce what methanoic acid so this thing here which i've made here this is called methanoic acid this is what you need to know and understand. So that's what you need to get. That's what you need to know. Let us talk about the oxidation of ethanol. Let us talk about oxidation of ethanol. Oxidation of ethanol. So under oxidation of ethanol, what we need to know is this. Ethanol. So we are changing ethanol 
to what? To a carboxylic acid. So what is the name of a carboxylic acid? Since we know that carboxylic acid should end with O, I, C, like this. So the name of a carboxylic acid that will be formed will be called ethanoic acid, like this. Ethanoic acid. This is a carboxylic acid that will be formed. So now you get ethanol. So ethanol, we've, we've covered it. I believe we know how to write ethanol. Just like this. C2H5OH. Like this. This is how you get to write ethanol. So now ethanol is reacting with what? With the atmospheric oxygen. Like this. Same thing happened. Hope you haven't forgotten. Carbon, how many? One atom of carbon. Hydrogen, how many atoms? Two. This one is dropping so that it goes and form a what? A functional group. This one is form, is dropping to go and form a what? A functional group. That's the reason why it is dropping. Then this one here, it is dropping so that it goes and form what? Water. That's the main reason. So one atom drops here. So I'm going to have only one. Then I say H. How many atoms of hydrogen? Two. So I'm going to remain with what? Three. Then this one that dropped comes here. It forms a functional group. See? Then here, oxygen, I get one. So I'm going to have one there. Then I put this one here. OH. OH. Then I say plus H2. Two. I'm going to say like this. Then the O here, I got one. So I demand it one. I bring it here. What has been produced? So this is what you... So this thing here, here this compound which is here, this is what we are calling ethanoic acid. Have you seen? We are calling it what? Ethanoic acid. So... The common carboxylic acid is called ethanoic acid. This is a common carboxylic acid. So a common carboxylic acid, common carboxylic acid, common carboxylic acid is this one. This is a common carboxylic acid, ethan. Is a what? Is a common carboxylic acid. So ethanol, ethanoic. So you say ethanoic acid. See, ethanoic acid is a common carboxylic what is a common carboxylic acid. So, ethanoic acid is a common carboxylic acid. So, this is a common what? Common carboxylic acid. Why? Because it is found in what? In vinegar. That's where we get to find ethanoic acid. It is found in what? In vinegar. So I want you to get all these things which I'm trying to explain to you. So make sure you understand them. You get all the points. So it is found where? It is found in vinegar. This is ethanoic acid found in what? Vinegar. So ethanoic acid affects indicators and these will react with metals. For example, magnesium. So these ones here, they, 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 they affect what? Indicators. So ethanoic acid, ethanoic acids affects what? These are going to affect what? Indicators. They are going to affect indicators like this. This is what you need to know. They are going to affect what? Indicators. So since they are going to affect indicators and they will react with what? Metals. They react with metals. They react with what? Reacts with the metals. So they are going to react with the metals. For example, we can talk of what? Magnesium. We can pick out magnesium. So they can react with the magnesium. So ethanoic acid is a weak acid. Even though it is weak acid, it will still react with bases to form salts. So I want you to understand this and I want you to get this point which I've said. These are what? Weak acids. 
So even though they are called weak acids, they will still react with bases to form salts. So for example, when you talk of uh, salt sodium ethanoid is formed when ethanoic acid reacts with dilute sodium hydroxide. So let us make this, uh, let us put this into an example. So let's say, what are we talking about? We are saying that ethanoic acid, ethanoic acid, so I'll just say ethanoic. This is ethanoic acid. It reacts with what? It is going to react with sodium hydroxide. So it reacts with sodium hydroxide, like this sodium hydroxide, to form what? What is being formed here? Sodium. So what is being formed is called sodium sodium ethanoate have you seen like this sodium ethanoate plus plus what plus water this is what is being produced so this is what you need to know and understand maybe if you want uh, a general equation we can put a chemical equation here so you know that ethanoic acid is just like it. This so ethanoic acid CH3COOH just like this. So it is in aqua state plus sodium hydroxide, like this is sodium hydroxide. It is also in what aquas to produce what sodium ethanoid. So, what is sodium ethanoid? Sodium ethanoid here, I'm going to see H3 like this. Then I put what? I put COO. Instead of putting the H there, I'm going to put the sodium. So I'm going to put the sodium there. Then it is also in what? Aquas. Then plus water. Water like this, H2O. This water is in liquid state. So this is how we get to write. So this one, this compound, which is a, is called sodium ethanoate. This is sodium what? Ethanoate. This is what you need to know and understand. Make sure you get this, you understand all these things here. So carboxylic acids will react with alcohols to produce an ester. So we are now adding to esters. So when a carboxylic acid reacts with an alcohol, what is produced is an ester. So when we are talking about a carboxylic acid, so when a carboxylic acid, so this is a carboxylic acid, when it reacts with an alcohol, so in these two react with, what is produced is an ester. An ester is what? An ester is produced. And this reaction is called esterification. This is called esterification. So members of the ester family have a strong and present smells. Or in other words, when we are talking about esters, we are talking about sweet smells. We are talking about sweet what? Sweet smells. This is what we get to know and understand. So I talked about the ethanoic acid. So let me just end with the uh, chemical a structural formula maybe someone is behind on the structural formula how to write a structural formula so before i write a structural formula i want to give you some uses of carboxylic acids so carboxylic acids are used as a what one they are used in cooking this is what you need to know they are used in cooking these ones are orange or lemon juice so uh, these ones are used in sharp tasting apples. In milk, it is also made in your own muscles when you are tired and cannot get enough oxygen. It causes muscle cramp. If you run upstairs quickly, it is the substance that causes pain in your knees. So this is what you need to know and understand. So originally found in the back of a tree. Have you seen? So these, these, whenever we are talking about these, this is what you need to soaps. 
these are uses of what carboxylic acid so i want you to get this i won't write these down here i just want you to know them and understand them so if you are copying down everything that if you are copying down this lesson make sure you write down these uses that i've given so let me put the, the structural formula maybe someone is behind on this let me put this structural formula it is like this so one what one carbon surrounded by three hydrogens one here two like this three that one there so someone can ask why are you not writing here no we've got these ones here so i'm going to say then i do this then c comes here then a double bond goes there like that then oh comes here like this this is what this is ethanoic acid so all the elements can follow all the compounds can follow just like that the same way i've presented this that's how everything can fall so hope you are able to write uh if we say uh let us talk of uh, propanoic acid how can you write propanoic acid so propanoic acid in an exam they will just tell you write propanoic acid so what is happening is that just to give you a quick uh, revision what is this is what is happening so what is happening is that you know that this is propanoic acid coming from where propano how is propano propano is like this you know position three like this then you say two times three six plus one seven like that then you say oh so now from here now we produce what propanoic acid we make propanoic acid this one one drops so it is a two that is going to mean hydrogen will drop two so i'm going to have a five then i just say c o o h so this is what propanoic acid this is what i'm doing have you seen so you know that here this is reacting with oxygen i have just done this so that you understand if a question comes in an exam so that you'll be very fast on this this is how you need to do this this is how you need to get this one so make sure you understand all these make sure that you get all these principles that i'm trying to share with you so i i write it something where i said when a carboxylic acid reacts with an alcohol what is produced is an ester so now how do we come up with esters and the process is called esterification so the process is called esterification so let us look at how esters are formed talk about esters so when a carboxylic acid you know that when a carboxylic acid when a carboxylic acid reacts with an alcohol so when they react with an alcohol what is formed is what an ester an ester is produced so ester is produced plus what plus water this is what is produced so this is what you need to know and understand so each time we are talking about the uh, esters an ester is formed when a carboxylic acid reacts with an alcohol to produce an ester plus water this all process is is called esterification it is called what esterification this is called esterification so if a question comes in your exams what is esterification esterification is a process by which a carboxylic acid reacts with an alcohol to produce an ester and water this is what we call esterification so give me one example of a carboxylic acid i'll say i'll go with ethanoic acid so i'll go with ethanoic ethanoid ethanoic reacting with what so it is going to react with let me say it reacts with methanol which is an alcohol what is produced here it is called an ester so what is the name of that ester so what you need to know is that this one it is these are going to drop have you seen these are going to do what 
are going to drop. These two are going to drop. Here, what is going to drop is what? IC. IC is going to drop like this. This is going to be removed. So I need to start with what? I need to start with an how call. So where if I drop this, I put what? I put Y L. When I drop IC here, I put the past tense of it. This is what I'm going to do. So what is formed? I'm going to start with this one. So I'm going to say what is formed is what? What is formed is Matthew. Have you seen Matthew? Then I put that one, which is what? Ether noet. Like this. This is an ester which is formed. This is the name of the ester that is formed. Hope you've understood this. So what I've said is that here on the carboxylic acid here, this is ethanoic, ethanoic acid. So you remove IC, you put ATE. You remove that, you put ATE, which is 8. IC removed, you put ATE. It becomes ethanoid. Then this one, you remove a no. A N O L. You remove it. You put Y L. So that it becomes methyl. Then you start with this same one. Where you are going to say, this is what? This is methyl ethanoid. This is the name of the ester that is produced. So now, how is the chemical formula now? So you put down this one. We are going to put down this one. We are going to put down this one. This is what? Ethanoic acid. How do we write ethanoic acid? How do you write ethanoic acid? So ethanoic acid is just like this. It is C C H 3 C O O H. This is what? Ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid is reacting with what? Methano. Is reacting with methano. Methano is just like this. This is how methano is. This is what methano. To produce what? To produce methyl ethanoid. So have you seen the way the name is? But when writing it, we need to start with this one. Have you seen this one? So what happens is this. This is what gets to happen. So this is what will happen. So on this one, this one will remove H. You just remove H. Here we, you remove an hydroxide. An hydroxide is removed. This is what gets to happen. So when this happens, this means that here you remove OH. Here you remove H. Then you write what has remained. This one C H3. C O O, then I put C H 3. So this thing here, it is called now, this is the name here. These are just the same. So this is what has been made. It is called methyl ethanoate. So this is methyl ethanoate. This is methyl ethanoate. This is how methyl ethanoate is. Have you seen all the procedures that I've done? These are procedures that you need to follow to come up with this. Then you say plus. Is, have you seen hydroxide plus hydrogen? Water is produced. H2O. Then you are done. So here this is called methyl ethanoate. It is called methyl ethanoate. Let us talk about the, another thing here. Let us, let me, so before I conclude... How do we write now the structural formula of that one? How can you write the structural formula of this? So the same way C surrounded by three hydrogen like this. This is what you are going to do. Then I put C there, have you seen? Then there is this one here. So double bond C, double bond like this. Then you say O there. Then it joins with this other one there, C, then surrounded by three hydrogens. This is the compound. This is how you get to write the, what, the compound. This is how we write the compound. Hope you are able to understand this. 
This is how we write the compound, which is an ester. So this is an ester. What is the name of this ester? It is called what? Methyl ethanoid. This is how we get to call it. Let us talk about the another type now. So let us move to the other one. So if you didn't understand that, hope on this one you are going to understand. Believe you are going to understand on this one. So let us say, let us talk about the propanoic acid. So propanoic acid is reacting with what? So propanoic acid reacting with the, let me say, butano, reacting with butano. So what is formed there? I said here, what is removed, this whole part is removed. You remove that part. You put what? Y, L. This is what you get to do. And here, on this part here, you just remove I, C. You remove this part. You put what? You put this. Then you join these two. You start with an alcohol. This is what? Butyl. It is going to be butyl. Then this one comes now. It becomes what? Proper noet. Like this. This is what it becomes. So butyl propanoid. Butyl propanoid. Have you seen? So this is the ester which is formed when this carboxylic acid reacts with this ester. So this is what you need to know. This is what you need to understand. So I want you to understand this and I want you to get this thing here. This is what we are doing. These are very simple to know them. They are very simple to get them. So what are you going to do now? What you are going to do here, you say, how do we write uh, propanoic acid? How do we write propanoic acid? How do we get to write propanoic acid? So propanoic acid is just like this. C2, hope you know how we form this. I taught you how to form. Plus butano. Butano, C what? For H nine O H. Then what is produced there? What is going to be produced? What I said was that here you remove this part. You just remove this. Here you just remove H on the acid like this. Then you combine these two. You start with this one here. On the name you start with the word acid. But when lighting the chemical formula, we start with the, or when lighting the name you start with the, the alcohol. Have you seen butyl? But when lighting the chemical formula, you start with the, the acid. So we are going to start with this one. I am going to say this is C two H five C O O. Then I join with this. I join with this one. So how is this one going to be? C four H nine like that. Then I just say press what? Press water. It's been produced. How do you write the chemical formula for that one? How is the chemical formula going to be? So how is the chemical formula going to be? How is the chemical formula going to be? So how is the chemical formula going to be? So the chemical formula will be in this manner. This is how the chemical formula is going to be. Two carbons surrounded by five hydrogens. So you do this. Like this. Then you've got C there. Then a double bond here like this. This one follows O. Then a C there. Having four C's like this. Four. Surrounded by how many hydrogens? Nine. So you say one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Have you seen this compound? This is what is formed. 
This is what you need to know and understand. So this is an ester. Now, what is the name of this ester? It is called butyl propanoate. This is how we write butyl propanoate. So this is what you need to know and understand. We've got the uses of esters, which I gave you some of them. I said this is the solvent is a nail vanish. Have you seen? This is what I said. Number one, I said these have got a sweet smell. So whenever we are talking about the uses of esters, we say the solvent is nail varnish is a solvent called male acetate. So it is called, this is how it is called. It is called what? It is called a male acetate. Like this. The other one in the when ma manufacturer, so we say manufacturer. So manufacturer, manufacturer of this. So these are uses of what esters. These are the uses of esters. Then this is the last one animal fat and vegetable oil and vegetable so this is the vegetable or vegetable or are made of esters so these are made of esters are made this is made are made of esters are made of esters this is what you need to know and understand have you seen so an ester is a sweet smell uses of ester manufacture of soap animal fat and cook uh, vegetable oils are made of esters so this is where we are going to end from so if you are new to this youtube channel make sure you subscribe hit the like button and comment and let me know where you are watching me from thank you so much